ecstatic celebrations after Argentina sealed their spot in the World Cup final. Qatar might be the host of the World Cup, but the football carnival has proved to be a winner for Dubai's tourism industry. Across the city, fan zones like this have been packed over the last few weeks. Due to an acute shortage of hotel rooms in Doha, tens of thousands of fans like Brad opted to stay in the UAE and travel to Qatar to watch the matches. I chose Dubai over Qatar purely because I have friends, I know the area, I like the beaches, I like the sun, nothing wrong with Qatar. Um, it was hard trying to find hotels in Qatar where Dubai has a lot to offer and a lot cheaper rates. The organisers have been operating 120 shuttle flights between Dubai and Doha, transporting 20,000 fans every day during the tournament. A huge turnout of football fans has transformed the city into a major tourism hub for the World Cup. Compared to Qatar, Dubai offers a relatively relaxed atmosphere in terms of Western norms. Whether it's easy access to alcohol, sunbathing at the beach or just the lively nightlife. And apart from all these reasons, the fact that Doha is just an hour away from here by flight made Dubai an attractive destination for many fans coming down to watch the World Cup. The tournament has also ushered in the holiday season early for businesses across the board. The hospitality sector, which suffered due to the pandemic, has seen a huge surge in bookings. Luxury hotel, the Five Palm, has been running at more than 90% occupancy ever since the football event began. I think it's fair to give you a benchmark against 2019 because that was the last normal year for hospitality globally. So at least what we're seeing for us, our business is up about 58%, which is a substantial number. And actually it's probably up in a sense higher because most of our customers come from the United Kingdom and, and Europe where the currencies have also faced challenges because we're a dollar economy. So it's been more expensive for people to come. So it's, it's really, really helped us get through a challenging year like 2022. The influx of visitors has brought relief to the local tourism sector at a time when the global economy is facing huge uncertainty. And even as the coming year looks challenging for businesses across the world, the industry here is hoping that the momentum provided by the World Cup will help them sail through tough times. Samir Hashmi, BBC News, Dubai.